Hello and welcome to the video for fourth grade for Thursday, April the 30th. This is going to cover our new lesson, um, continuing our work with angles, but we are going to be working specifically with adding the measure of angles uh, together. So this one will not involve as much um, hard work once you figure out what we're doing, um, but at least for the beginning portion, I'm going to show you um, using a protractor. So the beginning, uh, I normally just always refer to this as the unlock the problem. Um, here is my 70 degree angle. I am going to um, label it the way that they have here. You'll have a much clearer picture uh, on your page than what I have right now. So I've done that except for drawing arrows um, pointing out for uh, both of my lines. Um, I am going to choose um, to rotate this and I'm going to make a 25 degree angle and then a angle that will be the remainder of 70 minus 25. So here's my 25 degree angle. So this part is going to be worth 25 degrees. The whole thing was worth 70. And so I can do part plus part equals whole. So I would want 70 for my answer, 25 for this part. And then I can actually work my way backward using subtraction to figure out what the angle of this would be. Um, so I could do 70 minus 25 without having to measure at all to figure out what the remainder would be. So six, and that would give us 45 degrees. So 45 degrees plus 25 degrees gives me 70. If you chose to do something slightly different, um, if you had access to a um, protractor at home, I know some of you do, some of you don't, um, this is the idea of what we're working with. So if I were to take this shape, let's talk about number C. So if I were to cut this out, I could make a triangle here and I could make a triangle here. So let me demonstrate, um, actually I'll use green for this. And so this would have been one of my triangles. And if I connect um, the two sections here, this would have been my other triangle. Um, and so we can uh, use that to help us see what shape we would have formed. Uh, this part would be triangles, use a protractor. I kind of did that for one of them and explained how you could find the other one. Um, but if I had done that, I should get 45 for this one. Um, unfortunately, I don't have a way to rotate the starting point uh, for my ruler uh, to be able to do that. So for our share and show, what we are working with today is we are just taking the measure of both of these and adding them together to get the total amount. So for every single one of these, until we get down to here where we actually have to measure something, all we're doing is taking these two numbers and adding them together. Um, or like for number five, once we find the answers, then we're gonna add all four of those together. So we don't have to worry about the same thing with a circle where we have 360 degrees for this part. All we have to do is do 43 plus 37. So pause the video if you need to, to work on this one and this one, and then um, hit play when you're ready. 43 plus 37 should give us 80. And that would give us 80 degrees. Um, the equation would just be 43 plus 37. I'm not gonna take the time to write that part out. So for this one, um, I have to work a little bit harder. I might actually choose to write this one out just so I don't make a mistake, but we are working with 55 uh, plus 27 plus 78. I should probably switch colors um, back to this. So um, this part is going to give me something that ends in a five. So 78 plus 27. I'm going to get 15 here, carry the 1, and that's going to give us 105. I can do 105 plus 55 to get 160. And so my answer for number 3 would be 160. So now for number 5, I am going to show you something of a trick. So I do not have a proper protractor, um, but I can 
figure out the measure of this angle, assuming I do it correctly. Now, there are 360 degrees in a circle, and there will always be 360 degrees in a circle. I have a straight line that goes to the middle of this circle, and so both of these angles are going to be half of this. Like this side is broken up evenly into what would be fourths if I continued that through the rest of the shape. So this is going to be a 90 degree angle. This is also going to be a 90 degree angle inside here, okay? So that takes care of 180 of my 360 degrees. So that takes care of half of the shape. The only two things I need to do are figure out what my other two angles are. And so in an earlier video, what I told you you could do is you can use the protractor, set it up on there, and then follow around. So if I started here and I went around here, I would have an acute angle, and this part here would be where I would measure x to. And then the remainder of that going around to 180 would be the measure of this. And so when I was using my ruler, because I have this and um, I can only go up to 90 degrees, I have a situation where I have to use that trick um, to be able to do this. So I am going to drop my point here and I am going to cheat and add an extra line through here. And so assuming that I do this correctly, I should probably look at my monitor so I can see what I'm doing a little bit better. Um, the line's a little bit thicker than it probably should be, um, but I'm going to uh, use that. To start with, I may try to delete it here in just a second and see what I get. So I'm gonna use this point. I'm still not quite there. It looks like this should, yeah, this should be about a 45 degree angle. So what that means is I am going to have 45 degrees here for this angle. Oops, I should probably make this go away real quick. So if this part is 45 degrees, I can do 180 minus 45 to figure out the measure of my other angle. And so I need to take away a group of 10 and send it over here as 10 ones to regroup and that's going to give me 135 for this one. So I'm going to have 90 degrees, 90 degrees, 135 if I make this part go away, which I can do that real quick, and then 45 degrees and the total of that is going to give me 360 degrees. So the equation would be 90 plus 90 plus 45 plus 135. And again, you can put these in whatever order you want, equals 360 degrees. So this probably takes longer for me to explain than it would actually take to do. Really quick, I didn't assign this one, but if we went back to this one, just to show you, if we take and add 10 more degrees here, we can do 80 plus 10, and that would give us a 90 degree angle, which would be a right angle. So 90 degrees equals a right angle. All right, let's take a look at the homework page real quick. So just to help out, I went ahead and marked out um, what the angles for this will be. That essentially gives you the answers for number four and number six. Um, but the way that I did it um, is this. So to start with, um, we are going to take this circle and we know that it's going to have a total of 360 degrees inside. And so what I did was I went ahead and took my ruler and figured out that the measure of my angle going down this way would be 10 degrees below center. So if I drew... A straight line through here and I'm gonna put that in red I know the pens gonna be a little bit thicker but this part here is going to be worth 10 and so doing some of my other measurements 
um, I should end up with 180 degrees on the top, 180 degrees on the bottom. But 10 of my degrees are going to count in this angle here. So if I had, if I took 10 away from here, because that's down here, then I'd have 115 plus 65, which gives me 180. And then I would have 80 and then 100, which would also give me 180. So um, I took a little bit longer than I probably needed to to explain the theory uh, behind how to do that using the ruler and using subtraction and different problems and so forth. Um, but so to avoid confusing you, um, I can tell you that that would be what I started with. And then I started uh, by measuring every other, uh, other angle. So. Um, you won't have to worry about that part. Just pay close attention to what the angles are and which number in the box would work for that. And then for uh, number eight, I want you to try this one. Understand that this portion in here is going to total up to 180, which is half of a circle. Um, so we have three angles that are relatively close, but maybe not exactly the same angle. So um, on the homework problem, I'll show you that part. Um, Number 10, you can go ahead and skip over that. I kind of will talk about that um, as part of my explanation of what I did with this, but I think I'll save that for the homework answers. Um, and then for uh, these two, all you need to do is add the two angles together. Understand that uh, for the equation, you're just going to write one of these two numbers first plus the other number to get the answer. So uh, that finishes our lesson video for today. I'll have another video specifically for the homework answers. So if you have any questions, please feel free to ask in Google Classroom and I will be happy to explain, especially if you want to know more about the theory of what I spent like three and a half minutes uh, doing with the ruler and explaining how all the different angles work and relate to each other. Um, that's something that you won't need to know at the fourth grade level, um, but if you understand it, it will make it a lot easier if you don't have a protractor um, to figure out the angles. If you're having to use the strategy where I'm using the ruler and figuring out how to figure out what the rest of the angles should be. So hope you have a great day and I will see you tomorrow.